All right, so I want to talk about this article about the uh, NCAA and the NIL rules. Uh, I think we can all agree that this is uh, brand new uncharted waters, so we really don't know what to expect from them going forward. Uh, and I want to focus on something called uh, group licensing. And I want to focus on the Florida State University women's soccer team that won the national championship. And the reason I want to talk about them is because um, they are the first team to be collectively uh, compensated for winning the national championship. Uh, so that means everyone in the team or everyone that opted into this deal got compensated uh, from the, or they got royalties from the merchandise sold uh, for the national championship. So t-shirts, uh, hats, the whole nine yards, they got royalties from those sales. Uh, so these sales were made by another company called Breaking Tea. Um, because uh, the NCAA is not allowed to uh, directly compensate their uh, student athletes. So if uh, Florida State would have sold these t-shirts, they wouldn't have been able to compensate their uh, student athletes. Uh, so this deal was made by a third party company called The Collective. Uh, we'll see a lot of those going forward. Um, so they represent the student athletes and they made this uh, group, um, group licensing deal with the NCAA. Uh, and I think it's really interesting how this topic will unravel going forward. Uh, like I said, this is um, uncharted waters for everyone. So we really don't know what's going to happen going forward. But uh, I think it's really interesting how this is going to translate to um, maybe football or basketball, which bring in a little more money. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see how other sports across the NCAA adapt this whole group licensing thing uh, into the NIL. Because this is uh, more so an incentive for every player rather than an individual player getting uh, compensated. Everyone in the team is getting compensated. So I think it's really, really interesting.